and thank you for your patience. Um, we have exciting announcements to make today. Um, Mr. Ross van Rienen, our CEO, will be um, opening the floor. Good morning, or is it afternoon? No, it's just after 12 already. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all. And uh, I think we have some very, very exciting news today. The Toyota Challenge is starting on the 30th and will run through till the 22nd of October. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank Toyota. It is a, it is a massive honor for us as cheetahs to have Toyota as our main sponsor. And um, I'm, I'm very happy to announce that we have uh, three international teams that will play against us, which will be the uh, emerging Irish team, the USA national A side, and of course, Italy. And then my good friend and coach on the side here will have the opportunity to take his revenge on the Greek West as well. So these are the other are the Challenge Cup uh, Challenge Cup matches. I also want to want to thank um, my staff for putting this tournament together. It's been many many hours uh, that we worked, and especially um, MJ Smith, who had to go through a torrid time in terms of ground covering ground costs. I mean. Van Jaarsveld with the, uh, the costing and the money side of things. And of course, the rest of my team. This is a massive, massive opportunity uh, for us. And I think that the Toyota challenge, uh, what we experienced last year, brings in a totally different uh, methodology in terms of the competitions that are played in South Africa and also all over the world. Um, we are playing the call it the Northern Hemisphere teams at the moment. And I know Toyota has a lot of appetite for us to play against Southern Hemisphere teams after the Curry Cup next year, which could include teams like the Crusaders, the Chiefs, um, maybe the Western Force and the Brumbies uh, uh, from, from the Southern Hemisphere. But the key thing is that um, Toyota is sponsoring this event. And... Uh, it is, um, it, is, it is just massive. It is, it is really very special. Um, I believe that we will draw a lot of spectators. The um, national, the USA National A side are going to use this also as preparation for them to play in Dubai to qualify for the World Cup, where they will officially play as the USA Eagles. And uh, you all have the press conference in front of you. Um, so I'm very happy to, to say that we are looking forward to this. We, our teams are preparing very well. Um, I know Coach Harvis has been, has, been, uh, has been really looking after the players and for them to train. Um, as you can see on my far left, uh, for the first time, Ruan looks very fit and Opa looks fitter than what... Uh, that uh, was the case a couple of months ago. And um, I believe it's, it's, it's something that is really special to Blue It is uh, It is a special event, as I said earlier. And we are, I nearly want to say, the, the forerunners of having these kind of competitions um, in South Africa. Last year was a huge success. And we are... Very, very happy that this year we've got far stronger competition. There is a million rand up for grabs. So the four teams that are playing in the challenge side, which will be uh, the Cheetahs against Italy, Cheetahs against uh, National A, USA, and Cheetahs against, um, the, uh, uh, against Italy. And then also the Greco game is a challenge match. So there's 250,000 up for grabs for the winner. And uh, um, I hope and I'm looking forward that we're going to put up a, a very, very good display. And I also need that million rand, please. Man. So, um, so without further ado, I just want um, to open the floor to any questions that you may have at this stage. Um, again, this is not a cup, like a Toyota cup. I know there's been some confusion uh, about whether this is 
this is the Toyota Cup or Toyota Cup is going to be played later. This is not. This is a challenge. Toyota Challenge with this uh, price money involved, as I said, of a million rand. So okay. thank you very much. And um, any questions, please, the four of us are here. And uh, the floor is now open to you. We'll first be taking questions from the floor and then we'll go to Zoom. Ross, uh, having international teams playing the challenge is nothing new. You had Biomori last year and Barcelona, but the scale of opponent must certainly add quite a lot of punch to the Kyoto Challenge, having developing national sides and national sides that will be playing World Cup qualifiers, etc. Yeah, no, without a doubt, uh, Morgan. I mean, um, you know, we the the uh, Italian side, for instance, will obviously be without the national players, but it's called uh, their pony players, players of national interest. The same with the Irish; they're bringing a very very strong emerging side um, over to to South Africa, and I think that uh, we've we're going to have our work cut out uh, with the Irish teams, without a doubt. And then, of course, the national team of uh, of the USA. Of course, the European players that play in call it the USA Eagles are not playing uh, because as a country, you, you can only play with registered uh, players of your country. And um, and I think that will draw, that will also be uh, in the whole draw, that's also going to be a very, very important match. They will go from here to Dubai to play a qualifying match in Dubai for the World Cup. And it's a huge privilege for us to have them coming over. And um, I think it's it's uh, it's going to be very, very entertaining right now. So I think from the sponsor kant of the team from the group doel wit wat ons uh, met die Toyota Challenge het is om voor te brei vir die European Challenge Cup dis ons enigste wedstrijde wat ons gaan hê voordat ons na die noorde toe gaan in December so weet ons ons moet dit goed gebruik die ander spanne gaan speel in die Franse top 14 Engelse Premiership URC so dis die vier wedstrijde wat ons het om om voor te brei daarvoor Always and you must welcome the, the, the strength of these opponents, as mentioned just now, those other two teams. It's nice getting wins by more did you, you guys run for money, but it's always pointless in beating teams 19 all, especially if you guys want to prepare. Yeah, it's great to play international teams as well. Um, since 2019, we haven't played a lot of international rugby, so three of the four games are against opponents from other countries, and um, that just adds to the whole tournament and as you said it's it's a lot stronger teams um i think it will draw spectators and a, a lot of um media coverage and stuff as well so um it's good for us to play against those teams and we want to measure ourselves against uh great teams and better teams to be able to, to compete in the european challenge cup and finally first for you must be nice to play in the challenge representing the preset this time around and not the Sharks like last year. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, I know, it's, yeah, nice to play for your home team again. It was a bit awkward last year. Um, but yeah, I think it's great preparation for us going into December. That's really big fixtures for us being back in Europe, playing strong opposition. So, um, yeah, we look forward to playing rugby again. Right, well, you, you're a Curry Cup winner this past season. Um, you look like you've come back from the Greek list a lot for turn here. But you must be well, I'm going to step up Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, uh, there's a lot that I can take from from where I was a few months ago with the Griffins, um, you know, until now. Uh, I'm also grateful that I was able to go into preseason and, you know, almost say finish the preseason healthy and all good. So um, looking forward to the charity challenge and, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what well, myself and, you know, the team of the coaches, because see our investment that we, we've been busy putting in. Right, we'll now be taking questions from Zoom. Thanks, Ronel. Marvis, Jan de Koning, yeah. Uh, just to repeat what you said earlier in, in Afrikaans, um, obviously, this is preparation uh, for the European Challenge Cup, uh, which you guys will be playing in later. So, I mean, last year you were preparing for domestic competitions, now you're uh, preparing for international competition. Yeah, Jan, um, <coughs> we. Um, we play in, in the European Challenge Cup in December, and this is four important games for us. It's nice to play against international teams, and um, 
the teams will be a lot stronger than than last year, um, especially that Spanish team, which were in the end made up of South African club players. So um, it's a proper competition this time around. We are thankful to Toyota and everyone that that's organising um, this this tournament. Um, special to play in it, and um, it will be really good preparation for for us uh, going forward. If I might ask a follow up, um, obviously. Uh, being preparation for uh, Europe, uh, are, are you looking at, at recruiting? Uh, are you comfortable with, with your squad at the moment? And, and how's pre-season going? Uh, we're almost finished with our um, contracting for, for next year. So um, that's done and dusted. The preparation went really well. Um, we've had a decent block of conditioning for six weeks now. The guys are going on a one-week um, bit of a break holiday. And then we'll gather again next week on Wednesday. So I think all the players also look forward to, to start to play and get back on the field again. Um, it's tough to just be in the gym and do a lot of conditioning, but we needed that. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with the preparation as well. And Ron, from me, uh, f- 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 your, your body, I mean, you, you uh, Ron, I say uh, a veteran, but I mean, you, you've been around a bit. Uh, how's the body holding up and, and what do we expect from Ruan this year? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's been a really tough preseason. Uh, we've worked really hard. I think the coaches and, and some of the senior players. We we uh, sort of at the end of the season last year, uh, sort of tried to um, get areas where we need to get stronger and better at. And I think we've all done that the last couple of weeks or six weeks. Um, it's been really tough. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward. This is probably close to the end for me now. So I'm yeah, just looking forward to play rugby again. Um, there's a lot of exciting guys in the team. Everyone's uh, excited to get going again. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back on the field and start playing again. Percy? Baie dankie, Ronel. Goeiemiddag, goeiemiddag, meneer, good afternoon, and gentlemen. Um, Ros, kan ek vir jou nie nog een vraag vir vrouw in Afrikaans, possible, Jan van ENC. Ros, in die Afrikaans, wat moet die vorig vir julle wees om weer so een uh, uitdag toernooi aan te weet, um, vooral vir die, vir die ENI self, en soos Havies gesê het in die, in die aanloop tot julle, julle reise na Europa toe later van jaar? Ja, dit is baie, baie belangrijk vir ons, uh, die, die groe ding is, um, op die einde van die dag, moet ons goeie rek bespeel, ons moet ween, en, um, Dale, vir my is dit, ek sê altyd, vir my is dit ons wereldbeker wat uh, in die Episa Challenge vir ons voordeel. Uh, so, om die Toyota Challenge nou te speel, voorbereiding is, 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 is a baie groot voorre, en ek wil weer eens vir Toyota uit die diepte vir my hart sê, baie, baie, baie dankie. En, uh, soos ons allemaal weet, dat hulle die moeilike tye gaan met die vloede en derpen, en nog steeds het hulle hulle weg ook gesien, om hierdie toernooi te borg teen, uh, teen uh, enorme bedrag. En, uh, en om die an- my vraag eindelijk direct te antwoord, ja, ek denk dit is ons een baie groot voorrecht, en ek gloe ons gaan baie goed voorbereid wees vir die EPCR Challenge in uh, Europa later die jaar. Al wees my collega, my collega het jou die vraag gevraag oor die, die uitdaging wat hierdie besoekers vir julle gaan bied. Denk jy dat julle gaan genoeg samen voorbereiding kry in die aanloop toe die um, Tour Europa toe? Teen, 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 bijvoorbeeld die Amerikaanse eerste en, en, en Italiaanse spanne? Ja, ek denk alwees moet dit. Ja, ja, het is. Ja, ek denk alwees moet dit. Ek geloof so, um, vir sê ek is 100% seker af van, weet het, is sterk spanne, op winnende spelers, wat, wat hier na toe kom, vooral Amerika sal waarschijnlijk hulle sterkste moendelike span gebruik om te kwalificeren vir die wereldbeker, so as baie op die spel, vir hulle ook. En um, ons sal die, die game time wat ons vir die spelers kan geef, goed gebruik, um, dit sal ons een kans geef om te sien waar staan ons met allemaal en waarin ons nog moet werk in die maand na die Toyota Challenge, so dit ja, is baie goeie voorbereiding vir ons, um, ons, ons sal die beste daarvan maak, definitief. Renal, can I just ask a last question? Um, Renal, I see there's a, and I might be wrong, I might be right, I see there's a Gary Gold on the platform as well. Is that the Gary Gold? Is he uh, um, uh, the American coach? And is, is he coming out to prove a point? Or is he sending a, a campaign, um, a, a delegation to come and prove a point in South Africa? I think it's actually... What's good me? Gary Gold? Sorry, Gary. Yeah, I will be... Yes, it is me. 
the lines are a bit blurred, but I, um, from my point of view, I think uh, Gary's objective is to get proper training time, and uh, it's it's warm uh, that time of the year. Hopefully, we warmer than today. But uh, the key is for them to prepare properly uh, and then play in Dubai to qualify for the for the World Cup. And we're very honoured. We're very honoured, David. Yeah. 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 Right, next question, Carl. Thank you, Renel. Just, um, I see that the Pumas are the only team that's not allowed to play for 250 million rand. Uh, is there any reasoning behind that? And what does Jimmy say about that? Uh, to be honest, I think it's, it's just simply the draw and the timing. Um, I personally had a lot of uh, uh, discussions with uh, Super Sports, and it was because and there's a lot of URC matches, as you know, that are taking place in the uh, that are sort of actually, in fact, is starting uh, in the next week or so. And uh, it was it was literally trying to fit in. In fact, we're not playing on a single Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. So we're playing Fridays and we're playing in the week. And I believe, you know, the only problem was that we, it was just, we just couldn't fit everybody in, in that timetable. Right, any more questions? Right. Thank you everyone for your time. I'll, I'll gladly share the, the link, uh, the recording with you. Thank so, you. you know, Obviously, the game against USA could be quite interesting. Uh, taking into account that a lot of the teams made up of players from the island nations. And the French clubs also tend to have very heavy island nation presence in the team. So, for the game against part, it might be the ideal opportunity for you guys to understand what the culture of the French rugby teams. Yeah, it might be difficult. I don't know the the team that Gary is going to, to bring over. I watched quite a, f a lot of the USA MLR games to um, look at different players. We've contracted Marco Jansen for instance, who's played in that competition. And as you say, there's a lot of foreigners playing in, in the USA and the level of their, call it their curry cup, is, is quite high. They play decent rugby, good coaches, and a really good competition. So I, I expect the same from the national team as they will be a proper team and they will test us definitely. And it also could be interesting to see Ruben Dawes playing again. Yeah, he might be. He was on the bench, I think, in the previous game that they narrowly lost to, to Chile. So he's he's in the mix and he will look forward to, to Bloom and the altitude, hopefully. So we'll play against him probably again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.